one of your chapters that I see here from the table of contents, it talks about ignoring the naysayers. And I would imagine some people get more than their share. What's a naysayer and how are they different from bullies? Yes. So a naysayer, and we've all encountered them in our careers. You encounter a person or persons that may not, what I call, like you, and you really don't know why. <laughs> you haven't done anything to them. You, you know, from your perspective, it's almost like, huh, well, you know, that person acts a certain way towards me, and I don't know, at least I, I am not aware of what I may have done to warrant that kind of reaction or behavior. And, and normally it's subtle. You know, it's not, you know, blatant, but you just get that feeling that, huh, this person, you know, may not be the cheerleader for me, right? So that's who I call the naysayer. Okay. <laughs> so that behavior, you know, that it shows up in a way where you may not be able to put your finger on it, but you, you know, you're, you're I call the intuition, you know, you're kind of like, huh, every time I have an experience or an interaction with this person, it's not, you know, nasty or negative, but it just it just leaves you like, blah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so that person may be, a, you know, a naysayer. You know, don't want to see you fail, but they're not necessarily in your corner. So my tip in the book is ignore the naysayer. You know, and when, when I say ignore the naysayer, you, you may have to work with this person in order to get a job done or a goal accomplished, or you may be on a project team. But what I see with particularly with women, sometimes we want everybody to like us. And with a naysayer, they, you know, may not show dislike, but they're not going to be your friend or buddy or, you know, like they're your cheerleader. You have to be able to work with this person, especially if you're, you know, connected with them on a project or a team, And you still have to be able to work together and get the job done, but don't take it personal if they're not the, you know, hey, let's go out after work kind of person. It's okay. Where I see the difference is uh, some women is like, okay, is this a naysayer or is this a bully? Because sometimes I deal with a person and they're either abusive or intimidating or hostile towards me. That is not a naysayer. That could be a bully. 